Tucked away in the heart of Colorado, there's a hilly field that in the winter becomes an oasis for skiers. If this land could speak, what would it tell us about its history, characters, and community? an area come to possess the lives of so many. Once a busy mining town, Spring Gulch holds over 20 kilometers of trails. Spring Gulch was first used as an official ski area in 1986. The area was, and still is, a grazing spot for cattle as well as a ski area. The area once held the annual CRMS rat race, along with many other community skiing events. Spring Gulch has also been a training ground for many young athletes. Many of the original members of Spring Gulch still use the trails. Since the early days of Spring Gulch, the area has bloomed into community gathering space. <laughs> so people skied there a uh, long time ago. I skied there in the late 60s, you skied there in the early 60s. Early 60s. And to me, it was like going out in the, the remote part of the world because it was a dirt road and, you know, it wasn't very well plowed. So it was a, a wild adventure to go skiing. And we would make tracks by, like, Elliot would ski. And then I would ski like this and like this to make the pole track. And somebody else would make a pole track here. And we would, like, ski around in circles and pack it out. Chris Landry, on, on this road that runs by Spring Gulch, he had a bike accident, and when he came to, looked up and thought, that's gonna be a great place for a cross-country ski area. And he almost forgot about it because he saw the area before he had the head injury, so we joke about whether he might not have happened if he'd have had a worse head injury. But Landry, you know, is the guy who made it happen, pushed it hard. And I would sort of go up there with him when he, you know, walk a bunch of trails and say, what about if we put the trails here? Come up and take a look at this. And go, yeah, that looks great. Never would have happened without the consent of the Cattlemen's Association. Mainly, the Nordy Council dealt with Bob Perry to negotiate use of that property. It started because of my father-in-law, Bob Perry, I would say. You know, he had his cows there, our cows there. And it, wasn't perfect for maintaining a ski trail to coexist with the cattle. At the same time, there was a lot of um, push to remove cattle from public land. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's funky. You know, this is pre-skating, right? This is, and so, you know, setting track and, you know, trying to do that effectively and, you know, you know, <laughs> it was a scene. Yeah, so, you know, the early races were funky. The other hurdles we found after we got here were that we had, the Spring Gulch had been slowly expanding. And um, we were just about beyond capacity for uh, one person to be able to groom it in one evening. And we were at about 12K then and now it's what close to 22 and um, so th that was an issue of, you know grooming trying to get the right equipment to be able to groom it faster trying to get more people to help out elliot norquist and i used to drive a truck old farm truck with chains on all the tires and we made a little box plywood box would drag behind and pack out the the skis tracks and that was before people were skating. So 
Uh, now it wouldn't work because you'd fall down in the tire tracks and it wouldn't be good. And so I had a lot of grooming experience and they hired me and you know I'd drive around in a snowmobile and get stuck a lot and things like that. But our goal, our vision was to create a great place for people to ski. And although we wanted to accommodate people who were fanatic skiers, we really wanted to create an area where a novice could go out and feel safe. We used to uh, put on a chassis race every year, and uh, they would sometimes draw as many four, as 400 skiers up here. So uh, if you think it was crowded yesterday for Sisu, you try, cars are all the way down to the Marion turnoff. But uh, one year, when we were still working out the kinks of our grooming operation, um, there was a call in the middle of the night and the groomer was having some difficulty setting the track. It was a classic race, best line classic race. And so Mark Clark, who at that time was the chief of course, or chief of race, came up here at I think three or four in the morning and uh, had to stand on top of the track setter and ride around the course behind the snowmobile <laughs> in order to get a decent track set. So uh, they didn't get a decent track set. Right. It's a wildly successful asset to the community that really greatly exceeds, I think, our initial expectation. I remember one year I was I was skiing in Vail a lot, and I heard the people running the shop there say there were some tourists in town, and they said, "Well, where else can we ski that that's really fun skiing here in this area?" And they said, "Oh, you've got to go to Spring Gulch and Carbondale. That's the best skiing in Colorado." There are a lot of people. I think the town of Carbondale did a sort of a community outreach a few years ago about why people live here in Carbondale <clears throat> and a surprising number of people said they live here because of Spring Gulch. So I think that um, that's a, a, it's a great asset to the community. All its history aside, Spring Gulch is ever present unique to whoever passes through its iron gate. For some, it is a getaway, a five minute ski into the wilderness. For others, it is a training ground for newcomers. It is an unexplored and exciting mystery. But for most, Spring Gulch is home. Even those who do not enjoy skiing can appreciate its beauty, story, and community radiating from the area. You know, just having an athletic endeavor in the winter that you can just grab and do at any time of the day. This place is open 24 hours, every single day. The Aspen Grove? It's, uh, it's just gorgeous, and the view that you get of uh, Mount Sopris and the Elk Mountain, it's stunning. This is my favorite place ever to go skiing. Annually, Spring Gulch houses Ski for Sisu, which is a fundraising event allowing community members of all ages and ability levels to come together. The event raises money for the Mount Sopris Nordic Council, and participants are able to enjoy the plentiful trails of Spring Gulch. One and a half K, multiplied by my, my age is like a, a thousand of kilometers total. <laughs> this is my longest race in my life. that can be used and appreciated by anyone and everyone. Athletes, families, community members, and tourists are all welcome. Built and maintained by community members for years, Spring Gulch is a great community endeavor for a beautiful place where everyone can ski and explore.